All right, howdy boyos, and welcome back to Heroes of the West, a Western Front mod for Red Orchestra 2, which allows you to play as the Allied forces and the Germans in the Western Fronts of World War II. In today's update, which is actually really, really cool, they add some maps of the Battle of the Bulge, including Foy and this map. Um, playing as the Americans, we have new uniforms, we have, uh, the Germans have new uniforms, and we're defending, I have no clue what this map is, I have no clue where I'm gonna die from, all I know is we have tanks, they have tanks, and we're just defending this, and it really reminds me of Band of Brothers already, it's really fucking awesome, and I'm trying to find a position not to die from. Uh, I will link, as always, link this stuff in the description. Check out the mod yourself. Uh, it's very easy. It's free. All you, have, all, you have to, all you have to do is own RO2 and Rising Storm for RO2, I think, to be able to play this 100% fully. And let's get into a position where we can not shoot some people for a while. Ah, oh, shit. I want to get to the tent. Fuck. All right. Let's jump. Uh, spawn. Oh, squad leader right there. That's a good position. Oh god, there's a fucking bunker over here. I really like these new uniforms we have. The winter uniforms, they look really cool. Oh, and one more thing, I should totally totally say that, is they have a 50 cal jeep now as a uh, as a vehicle added to the... Oh? Added to the Americans. Oh, that's bad. Added to the Americans, uh, which is basically like the... Um, uh, kind of reminds me of a squad, and now there's like a 50 cal truck. Oh, it's gonna die really soon. Is it a stug right there? Okay, well, I think that was a stug. I also have no clue where to sit, where the enemies are coming from. I'm assuming they're coming from over there, but I'm trying to find a spot not to die. Let's jump into school, spawn three to help either attack A or help defend A. Uh, tank was pretty much in front of B. All right. Let's go. This is an icy river. Let's see, I'm not gonna pick anything else than this. Oh, okay, I'll well, squat leader. I don't, don't want to be a squat leader map. I've never played before. That's just asking for trouble. Let's run around. Friendly. It's actually really cool to see these American uniforms. Now I've yet to see the German uniforms, but I'm pretty sure they have white camo. Oh, there's a sniper actually. Like they have winter camo on, which is really cool to see. Uh, if I could actually see one, that is. Let's wait for one to pop up somewhere. Use this tree's cover for now. We're not that I actually probably should move up one more over to this berm over here. Let's get down and look for targets. Vehicle over there. That's a white helmet. That's a German. Another guy like right there. Oh, might as well be a sniper at this point. Jesus. Four kills or four shots, four kills. That's pretty good. So I'm moving the rights a little bit more. These white helmets are very not good for the Germans. They absolutely are good things for me to shoot at. Pop back a little bit, get a little clip, and get ready. Snap some more Germans. Um, he was alive. Might as well shoot that guy to see if he's dead or not. If that's my idea in RO2 and in Riding Storm, these games in general where you don't know if someone's dead 100%, you shoot a run into him or two. If you have the weapon to do so, you know, it's always better than to die from someone that you didn't shoot at because you were lazy or something. He's dead, same guy. Got him. Reload. Okay, that's what's going on over here. Seems clear. There's something moving. Might have been just like a body ragdolling or something. Left is clear, we got a 30 cal gunner over there. Right is clear, they have, they're attacking B. I don't think, uh, I don't think we can capture A back, sadly enough. We can at least defend this area over here. Um, 
I managed to get 8 kills. That's actually not too bad for the first time playing this map. Then again, I am defending, so it's obviously a little bit easier. That's a couple Americans running forward. That's an American running backward. I really like these long coats that we are wearing. That's something I really wanted. Oh, is that a half track? It's actually... Was that there? Is that... Was that there already? I feel scared. I don't think the half track was there already. Maybe it wasn't. I just didn't really see it. Looking around for... There's a German way back there. Never going to kill those, obviously, because those are super far away. Half track seems to be still. There's more Americans back, or more Germans back there, but it's really hard to hit any of these guys from this range. And even then, I doubt it'll be a kill shot unless it's a headshot because they're just so far away. It's really hard to lead these guys from here. And uh, let's start by popping up. There's a guy shooting on my right with a car. Let's pop up one for him. Oh, that's bad. Area. Can't go, go there. No. Okay, I almost died. John, Jesus Christ. Let's get back down again. Let's get back to our original position then. So, I cannot really move up from here. I'm starting to hold the right flank and looking at those targets over there. If I give myself a little bit more of an angle on them, it means I get a little bit more to shoot at. Covering my, watching my right, watching my left. Watching my right. They're obviously going to be attacking C right now. So I'm generally in a decent position to stop them from doing so. Oh, there we go. 205 meters. Was a headshot. That's how I would do it. Let's switch up to 200 meters then. And range it up 200 and try and see if we can engage some targets there whenever we see something popping up. Reload. 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 I think I had one, one bullet left. Um, but I didn't really want to risk run having one bullet there. I'm trying to intercept these guys at 200 meters, which is a pretty rough job. Shit. Okay, I finally got. I finally someone found me. Um, I should have like not pushed up, but I should have actually moved back. But I didn't. I think the squad leader is full. At least his vehicle has like four guys in it. Uh, so we managed to get up to 10 kills. Still got my grand. I could take a Springfield, but I feel like why? Why would I? Why would I take a Springfield over a grand? L ever, unless you want to be. I guess maybe more X, more ac more accurate at longer ranges. I think the Springfield is more accurate at longer ranges, but the fact that you can go semi-auto with this thing, basically, is uh, pretty damn insane compared to the Car 98 or any of the rifles, even though do you think the Lee Enfield's probably the quickest bolting rifle? Um, move, 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 move. Don't think I'll be able to make it across the river again. But we can always move up to some of these rocks in positions over here. Let's see, there C is going to be artillery. We've got a sniper watching that. I could always try to make it up there again. Let's just uh, figure out what's going on. Seems to be all clear. So we're going to save some sprint and go. Go, 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 go. I'm going to get on this ridge. We still got half sprint left. That's good. Stay low. This MP40 guy might be over here somewhere. Seems to be pretty clear, however. Watching left. This might be a very obvious spot for me to hide in over here, though. Oh, hello. There we go. Yeah. Good flank. Alright, let's move up to this crater. Pop a new clip. 
and try and be more aggressive. There's a half track over there. A couple of dead Germans that I just killed. I really like the atmosphere in this map. It just feels like I'm that one guy in B.O.B. who's like stuck behind enemy lines. I'm trying to find out what I'm doing over here. Okay, that guy is fucking around with the half track so far. He's dead. He got instantly killed. Second he jumped out. That guy scared the fuck out of me for a second. I saw him. Fuck. Oh, the green and kill the one. Man, I, I didn't know what to do. I figured I could either be aggressive. So I'm gonna go back to the same spot, but be a little bit less aggressive because the MP40s are actually going to win it from me, especially if I don't know where the fuck this guy was. So let's see if we can run back across the river, which is gonna get hard because we're about to lose C. So that's going to be pretty damn rough. Okay, well, I'm going to try at least. Let's get over to that rock and truck. And then uh, we'll see what happens. But I don't think I'll be able to do much here. Let's get back to the rock. And watch the opposite bank. Got him. You can see his like white pants sticking out. All right, what's going on over here? German running. He's in the he's in the crater right now. Got him. Where's Waldo? Just got a lot more aggressive. A new clip. There's a guy like right there somewhere, though. There's lots. Of, oh shit! There's lots of Germans right now. This is bad. Oh what? How? Oh, he spawned so quickly. I did not think that this guy spawn. I mean, I figured I shouldn't be hiding there for forever, but that guy was. Maybe the respawn was very nice on him, or he just died as they respawned, or they got forced respawn. But did not think that guy was going to be back there that quickly. Um, so they've captured A, B, and C. Being aggressive has gotten me a couple of kills and allowed me to stay in a pretty decent position. But right now I feel like the time to be aggressive is kind of over. I'm going to have to be... Let me be aggressively defend. Like over here somewhere. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to be trying to cross at some point soon. So I should get closer to the edge of the map. Let's just let the other guy do what the 30 cal is doing. Okay. He uh, has a very good field of view, I'm assuming. So that's uh, pretty much a no-go. This guy has picked up a bar. Oh, no, you can see a guy, you can see a guy in the smoke. Oh, second guy. Oh, I'm going to fucking die in here. Oh, this is bad. Run. I hear a tank. Run. Go get killed. Oh, it's me. Get upstairs. Get upstairs. Get upstairs. Get anywhere. Anywhere but downstairs. On the open, that is. Okay, that's a bit annoying. What's that thing flashing in the right bottom the entire time? Like, There we go. You're dead. So he crossed a river, apparently. Which means I should probably go downstairs now. He's dead. And get the fuck over there. I'm not gonna actually abuse him being dead for a short while. Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it. Shit, I heard a car. I heard a car the first time. Did not have no clue that was aimed at me. I thought it was going like to my right or anywhere, but definitely not directly on top of my face. Uh, we're losing E, so we need to respawn 
Oh, oh, AR. Nah, I'm actually happy with uh, being. Um, I'm happy with being a rifleman right now with the grand. The Germans. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. What's happening? Where am I getting shot from? I have no clue. Got inside. And I got ki I got killed by a tank, I'm assuming. That sucks. Okay, so E is bad. Um What's this then? Just a bar. No, I, I don't want a bar. I like this I like the uh I'll just like Okay. So E is bad. Let me go straight north and then turn right. Cause there's definitely some sort of thing. Guy like over here somewhere. I can hear the recon plane going over. Oh, it's a Sherman. I was like, what the fuck? I mean, I thought it was a recon plane, but I was like, that's way too loud. So now my job is basically to cover the Sherman against Panzer Shreks, which is not something that. I'm gonna be able to do because this is a very bad area for me. I need to get to this left ridge so I have a better eye on, but we're losing echo right now. Okay, I don't like being. This is a bad place for me to be. Got him. I knew someone was gonna get me. I, 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 I oh, damn it. Okay, we're down to F. We're not gonna hold this for long, I'm assuming. Just because there's so much. A radar operator? No, I don't wanna be in a radar operator. Because I know the radar operator has to, like, stay near the commander. And I would love to do that, actually, if I was playing with someone who was, like, a commander. And I would love to be his, uh, his radio op. But I don't wanna fuck up the, the team leader shit right now. I do love that idea that you have to stay near the near the commander's radio op or the other way around. It's kind of like a mobile radio thing. It's really cool that they managed to make that happen or work somehow. Okay, the F is the trenches in the U.S. camp, so let's hold this, I guess. Uh, there's lots of stuff here, though. Jump out. There's a bunker. It's gonna get destroyed in like five seconds. Uh, let's get the fuck inside. We got Sherman. We got a Sherman here. Someone's asking on top of the board yet. Let's take that right flank. Some people are getting killed over here, so shut in the bat place. Run. Run. No, please. Ugh, I fucking... I was in a bad position over there. So you have to either spawn at one and then get over the ridge where, the, where that group of uh, friendlies is. And then jump back into that little ditch. Because otherwise, no way I'm getting, I'm getting there at all. But you need to hold that flank. We're also losing north because you guys just died over there. Come on, come on. Get as far up on this ridge as possible. This is actually a good place. It's very far away from F right now. That's definitely off the map. Don't leave the combat zone. Yep. Back to your unit, soldier, now. Some friend is laying down over here, though. 30 cal on the flank. A couple of grands. Give this guy some ammo. Moving up. Friendly, that's good. We got lots of friendly. We got six friendlies over here now. There's a guy. What? I thought he was way closer. I could hear the MP40. I thought he was way closer than that. 
All right, well, we gotta we gotta stop that though. But now the issue is I can no longer. Okay, let's finally get in the bunker then. I don't know what this bunker complex is, but oh, this is cool shit. Also bad for you though. Because this is the way you die. Oh god, there's a lot of guys north. Get in the trench. They're north, they're north. Shoot them. Let's go. gonna get in here soon. Not any good position to fire from though. Oh shit, I almost shot this guy. Got that guy. Not like any good positions to fire from. Fuck. Only one place where the guy just got killed. Nope. That's like the worst thing to do. Just jumping out like that. I don't want to do that. I accidentally press spacebar. Okay, don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. the left flank get behind us shit that goes our tank shit mgs damn the trench is good but it doesn't provide the cover that it should it provides cover from artillery if a shell doesn't land in it in it but you're gonna get destroyed by people who are outside of the uh, like um Damn it. We need to get it, guys. We're gonna lose this because we're also getting sniped in the back here, I'm pretty sure. Getting over there is gonna be really hard. I love this map. I actually I actually like this map. It's just something that I guess we're gonna have to work as a team more to hold the specific line. Because the second they crossed the bridge, we lost this object these objectives really, really quickly. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the new map, on one of the new maps for Here's the West. Don't forget to stay awesome, and we'll love to see you in the next one. Cheers.